Good afternoon, happy Sunday, and welcome to Vlogmas Day 13. I'm getting ready to go grocery shopping so that tomorrow I can meal prep, but the first thing I need to do is kind of go through my fridge, see what I have, go through my cupboards and kind of see what I have, and make some decisions on what I want to make tomorrow. What I am thinking is something along the lines of like soup, salad, and some sort of bread. So I'm thinking like a minestrone style soup, maybe. I'm also thinking like a tomato based vegetable soup, definitely. I also have a bag of peas, so like pea soup's always on the table. I know I definitely want to get some sourdough bread and also some pita pockets. And then I was thinking maybe I would make like a roasted garlic hummus to put on top of sourdough bread slices and eat with the minestrone soup. And finally, last week I had spaghetti squash that was really good and I think I want to do that again too. So I've already spent some time today like organizing my fridge. I've already ate two meals and so I'm trying to eat up everything I had left over from my meal prep last week. And I haven't decided totally, but like I still have some of my potato cheese left over from last week. So I'm gonna repurpose that into a hash brown casserole or another mac and cheese, but a bigger bake, I don't know. So <laughs> I'll work on my grocery list and my meal prep plan as I kind of go through my fridge and my cupboards right now. So let me show you what I have left over from the meal prep I did last week. I mentioned in my meal prep last week how it's a big priority for me to date everything. So these are the peas and the potato cheese I have left over from last week, 12-7 was the day. This is a little bit of the glaze that I put on my lentil loaf last week. That's another teeny little bit of potato cheese. Back there I have some grapes. I have an open container of veggie broth and pasta sauce back there from last week. Carrots and celery. That's all I have for carrots and celery. Got a couple teas left over that I made last week. And this cucumber, I don't remember what day did I buy him. Thursday? He's still very good. I try to keep things rotated in my fridge so that the stuff on the top shelf is always the stuff I need to use up first. So down here I meal prepped a couple other things. I think all this stuff is dated the 10th, yeah. So I have some quinoa taco mix that I pulled out of the freezer refried pinto beans I made last week, and chickpea of the sea. I only have two broccoli crowns left. Also left over from last week, a tomato, a couple bananas, and this was the topping I put on my baked mac and cheese and my lentil loaf shepherd's pie. Also this morning I finished up the butternut squash I meal prepped last week. I mixed it with some oats, made some baked oatmeal, only turned into like half a loaf, but I'll either have that for a snack tonight or breakfast tomorrow. So I got a good handle on what's in the fridge. Now I just want to check my Lazy Susan for soup ingredients. So I feel like I definitely have a lot of good soup ingredients here in my cupboard. I want to check if I have different flavored tomatoes. I definitely want to use up some of the spaghetti sauce. I forgot about this. This, I might do this. This Bob's Red Mill soup mix is just like lentils and peas and dried vegetables and there's some um, like alphabet soup noodles in there. I think this with like some extra carrots and potatoes kind of vegetables. That, that might be happening, that's good. Got corn, peas, green beans. Ooh, these oyster mushrooms. I got these oyster mushrooms on sale. I'm not sure if I wanna put these in soup or if I want to marinate these like how I do portabellas with some liquid smoke and then eat those with like mashed potatoes and asparagus. I'm gonna keep a jar of these out. That might be happening tomorrow. Okay, here's the tomatoes I was thinking about with basil, garlic, and oregano. 
So I think these for the minestrone soup. I also bought this canned chopped kale again on sale. The kale was on sale. <laughs> I feel like this would probably go good in the minestrone style soup as well. I think these butter beans would be good in a vegetable soup or in a minestrone soup. Is it minestrone or minestrone? Minestrone. Anyway, butter beans. I have a lot of other beans too, light red kidney beans, great northern beans, garbanzo beans, cannellini beans. I did say I want to make hummus, so I'll pull out a garbanzo. I've already been through the sale ad today and was adding to my grocery list. So like I know at Meyer, celery, broccoli, and zucchini are all on sale. So I'm gonna buy some zucchini to go in this soup with the basil, garlic, oregano, diced tomatoes, the butter beans, the kale, and make it a minestrone type of soup. I'm not sure if I'm gonna put any noodles in it or not. I know there's typically noodles. I actually haven't had that kind of soup in quite a while. I should probably look up a recipe. <laughs> I'm just gonna wing it. And then I make a soup that is based on my stepdad's super simple soup that's a tomato base of like V8 tomato juice, spaghetti sauce, and then he has chunks of yellow potatoes in it. I still have a lot of potatoes left over from the week of Thanksgiving. They were on sale for 20 cents a pound, and I think I bought like 60 pounds. I have multiple bags of potatoes, but it's cool enough in my garage that they're staying good. But anyway, I'll put some fresh potatoes, carrots, and celery in this tomato-based soup. Not sure if it's gonna need the beans or not yet, but definitely this soup mix. Let me see if there's beans in here. Green and yellow split peas, barley, lentils, and flavor some alphabet pasta. Do I want to make two kinds of soup? Maybe I just wanna make one big soup. I am not 100% on one soup or two soups, but definitely with these ingredients. <laughs> I definitely want to buy some bread and some pitas so I can have chickpea salad sandwiches with my soup or just bread with my soup. <sighs> Ted, you need to get down, dude. I'm sorry. I bought a few jars of these mushrooms because I knew that was a good deal and I knew I had seen them in a lot of vegan recipes. So I think I'm gonna start, like I said, with marinating them and have them just with like some mashed potatoes and some broccoli or something. And then I got my chickpeas out to make hummus. I don't think I need to buy anything to mix with the hummus. Ooh, I wanted smoked paprika on my shopping list. I don't remember exactly why, but I remember that I wanted it. So I mainly want to buy fresh vegetables and bread. I feel like I have a good base of ingredients to get me started on my meal prep tomorrow. And I have all that stuff left over in the fridge. Like I was also thinking I could take my potato cheese that's left over and some of the quinoa taco mix and make that into a cheesy taco hash brown casserole. So we'll see how I end up putting all those leftovers to use, but I will use them. So I think that's all the planning and looking that I need to do here at home. Now I have to decide if I'm gonna go to Aldi and then Meyer. I don't even know if I need to go to Aldi because some of the things I normally get at Aldi like sell Aldi, like celery and baby cucumbers are on sale at Meyer this week for cheaper or the same prices at Aldi. And the zucchini is on sale at Meyer too. Oh, you know what else? I looked the last time I went to Kroger, I think that was Thursday morning, when I looked at the dates on all of the good dips there, 
Some of them had the expiration date of today. So I could also go to Kroger and see if those dips are marked down. Like, is it worth a trip to Kroger just for those dips? I mean, I kind of think it is. I wish I remembered which one of the flavors had the date of today. I just weirdly remember that some of them were dated the 12th and some of them were dated the 19th. Okay, I'm not sure where I'm going to go grocery shopping, but I will be back shortly and show you what I bought. Accomplished goal number one, which was make it home before dark. And I think I've accomplished goal number two, which was get enough groceries so you don't need to go to the grocery store for like five days. I feel like I've been doing small grocery shopping trips and so today I think was a little bit bigger and I should hopefully not need to go to the grocery store now till next weekend. So here's what I got at Kroger. I got four pounds of broccoli crowns because these just look so good and fresh. I have been struggling with getting fresh broccoli, either stuff in a bag or this bulk broccoli crown stuff. So when I saw these guys looking so fresh, I said, you're coming home with me. There's either five or six crowns in here. They're all really big. And then I got suckered into some of the clearance stuff at Kroger, which was kind of why I went there, but I bought like double what I should have probably. <laughs> what in the world? Okay, I kind of screwed up. I thought I had read these ingredient lists very closely and I thought that they were oil free. This cilantro jalapeno flavor has oil in it. That is a bummer. This has happened to me several times lately that I have not read an ingredient label close enough or like just read it twice, Elisha. Like, well, anyway, I was thinking that this would be good to like eat with my refried beans. At least I read this one, right? This one's oil free. I thought this sounded like it would be good with like raw vegetables dipped in it, like especially like Carrots, cauliflower, broccoli, I don't know. I don't have any cauliflower. Honestly, I'm not sure why this one was marked down. The expiration date on it is 12-18, which is six days away, but I was like, whatever, I wanna try it. <laughs> That's what I'm here for. Oh my gosh, I totally got suckered into this. Is this even real juice? I see now that it says juice drink. Whatever, it doesn't look bad. There's the ingredients. There's the nutrition. I just got so excited when I saw it was coconut and pineapple. That's like the tropical, my favorite flavors. Oh well. I also got another one of the cold pressed ones that's coconut greens. Like I couldn't pick between the two coconut ones, but I think this one is the healthier one. So there's the label on this one. As I've said before, I don't really do juices or smoothies. I like to chew my calories, but these are really good and I can't help myself when I see them reduced on clearance. I just can't help myself. I mean, I could probably help myself. <laughs> like, <laughs> And then I went to Meyer. And I am so glad I did not take my camera tonight because Kroger was busy, but it wasn't like too bad. Maya was out of control busy. Like every aisle I turned down, like just full of people squeezing my carts, like people taking up the whole aisleways with their carts and whew. And the checkouts, all the checkout lanes were going into the aisle. It was like, ugh, too busy. I think everyone must have stayed home yesterday from the windstorm and got a bunch of asparagus. They were all out of green zucchini squash. So I got four of the yellow ones. I actually started thinking that these ones are kind of like less seedy in the middle. So these are probably better for soup anyway. Got some more tomatoes for my chickpea of the sea. I did get my smoked paprika. I don't remember exactly what I wanted this for still, but I know I wanted it. I put it on my grocery list, so. And if memory serves correct, these are my favorite jalapenos. 
I've complained about the last two jars of jalapenos I bought that they weren't spicy enough. If I remember correctly, these are the spicy ones. These should be very good. Sriracha, you know, because I was getting the necessities. A bit random, but the fall paper towel pattern was on sale for $1.64 for two of them, so I thought that was a good deal. And last but not least, the thing I'm most excited about is this sourdough bread. I don't think I've ever seen this before in Meyer. This bread is made in Traverse City, Michigan. And there's the ingredients. I thought it looked really good and that it would be really good for chickpea of the sea sandwiches or to put some garlic hummus on and eat with the soup. And they had it in a half loaf or a full loaf. I got the half loaf. I couldn't find a price anywhere on it and I forgot to scan it before I got up to the checkout. So I just ended up buying it even though it was a little bit pricier than I was expecting. Hopefully that's a reflection of how delicious it's gonna be. So I have decided I do wanna make two kinds of soup tomorrow because I want a thicker, heartier, the tomato, potato kind of soup. And then I want a more brothy minestrone with the zucchini and yeah, I think I'll be happy to have two options. I did forget riced cauliflower. I couldn't get my Meyer app and my grocery list to work for like the first half of my grocery shopping there. I was like, is it so busy? Is there so many people in here that I can't get service on my phone? Like what the heck? Anyway, forgot riced cauliflower. I was gonna mix riced cauliflower with mashed potatoes. Whatever, I'll just make real mashed potatoes with no cauliflower filler. <laughs> I also talked about getting more spaghetti squash and I didn't do that. I'm gonna end up by Aldi in two or three days. I just know it. <laughs> I just know it. So I think I have five things planned for my meal prep tomorrow. I think five is a good number where I don't make too much food, but I have enough options to mix and match things. Is it time for food? Okay, it's officially time for food. So I will wrap this video up here. Thank you for joining me for Vlogmas Day 13. And don't forget to tune in tomorrow for the meal prep of Day 14. Be well. Was that you saying be well? Are you saying be well? I just discovered a pocket. I didn't think these leggings had pockets, but it's hidden inside the waistband. You are gonna get your dinner when I get home from the grocery store. Please let me film my video. Do you want to go in the garage? How about we go in the garage? Do you want to go in the garage? Shh. 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 I'm getting ready to go grocery shop. <laughs> I know I definitely want to get some sourdough bread. This is how they're begging. I was standing like right here filming and they're just right there, just begging, waiting for the attention. Okay guys, let me to the fridge please. I try to keep things rotated in my fridge so the top <laughs> Tell the people. Tell them how I starve you. Tell them how you're wasting away. Look at you. She's thinner than she used to be. But I'm sure the vet would still say you're overweight. I'm starving. I'm so hungry. 
Poor me, feel sorry for me. Oh, your face, your face. Yes, Ted. Oh. Yes, Ted. You're so handsome. Okay. Hi, Ted. You're so sweet. You're so sweet. And then these butter beans, Ted, Ted, there's not room for you to jump up there, Ted. It's like he knows I'm paying attention to the camera and not him, so he wants to jump in front of the camera. Sit your cute butt down. Sit your cute butt down. Get down, Ted. Get down. Jeez, you're shedding. You're shedding. I'm just trying to get your shedding hair off you. Tedward. Ted, please. <laughs> please. I'm afraid you're going to knock my camera over. Please get down. <laughs> He's going to beat me. He's going to beat me. Dude, just thank you. Where's my phone for my grocery list? Dude, I forgot. I did forget. <clears throat> Penny, let me talk. So I think I have four things planned to make to my, oh. Come here. Don't forget to join me for Vlogmas Day 14. Penny, what is it? Is it time? 